guys, welcome back. I hope all is well with you. I wanted to go to the beach and walk the boardwalk, but it is actually too cold out there. For me, I would be irritable and um, I would probably be in more pain doing that than not. So I'm gonna end up going to the gym and working out inside. Although I do like the sunlight. I need the sunlight um, just as a mood booster, but um, I'm gonna have to do the best I can. Anyways, I just came from the doctor at the VA and I was complaining to her about my knee pain amongst some other stuff. And out of nowhere, I just started crying because I'm tired of having pain here, pain there, you know? And I told her, you know, I'm 44, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be having these issues. And she said, I'm 33 and I have the same issues. What are you talking about? <laughs> and um, I also told her, I said, I just imagine if this is how I feel at 44, what I'm gonna feel like at 80. She said, well, in 80, we would just replace the whole knee and you'd be okay. She goes, but right now you're too young to replace the knee. You don't need surgery. So you, when you're having pain, you just have to slow it down. You have to modify. She said, but it's crazy to think that we should live in this painless utopian society. She said, there's always going to be pain somewhere, you know, and when you get that pain, you just have to slow it down. If you do too much, then you know the next day you can't do the same. And I said, so I just have to live with this? And she said, yeah, <laughs> you know? And so I'm trying to come to the realization that I'm not gonna always feel like I did when I was 25 or 30 or 35. And I think it's good that I'm getting this understanding now. That way, when I do turn 50 and I feel worse, I just have to realize it is what it is. She said, you have to be, you have to learn to be happy and in pain. There's two things to that. Number one, my mom suffered a lot of physical pain. My mother had two, three amputations amongst other stuff. And she suffered a great deal of pain. But through it all, she was able to still laugh and have fun. Through that, my mom could always find the bright spot in that day and find a reason to laugh. And that's one thing I admired about my mom. My mom was also my biggest cheerleader. But through all the pain that my mom suffered, no matter how tough things were, she always could find something good or fun or funny to laugh at. And then I also thought about the fact that black people are not taken as seriously within the medical industry because we're so resilient and we can tolerate a lot of pain and see the bright side of things and even laugh and have emotion in the midst of our pain is not taken as seriously. I don't believe my doctor at the VA is discounting my pain. I think she knows that I have this pain because she has proof of my arthritis and she has proof of the tears that I have in my knee. So I don't think she's discounting the pain that I have. I think she actually gave me some good sound advice as far as understanding that when we start to break down, it's natural. It's how God intended for it to be. And it's another sign 
to us to slow down, take care of yourself. It's okay to take a break in things and to just enjoy just being. She mentioned self-care, which I know all about self-care. Do I know how to do self-care all the time? No, of course not. I'm a single parent, you know? Living in the society that makes me feel like I gotta always be doing something in order to be productive, you know? And that's not always the case. It's okay to just stop. It's okay to just slow down sometimes, you know? But anyways, that's what I was just thinking about today and I just wanted to come on. It's okay to slow down. Maybe that's the message today. It's okay to slow down. I'm going to do the best that I can and then I'm going to go home and ice it and chill the fuck out. What y'all got going on today? <laughs> <laughs>